is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. At a time when so many people are still suffering, right now, tonight, more than one month after a monster storm hit a giant population center, today we learn some facts about how this earth is changing and how fast. For starters, polar ice sheets in Greenland are melting at five times the pace of just a few years ago. New research concludes that Antarctica is melting. While it takes a lot of ice to melt to raise ocean levels, they say that is in fact happening. And they believe just an incremental recent rise of ocean levels made the damage worse when Hurricane Sandy hit the East Coast and took so much away from us. The big question mark is the future, of course, and a new kind of normal for all those living along the water. It's where we begin here tonight. Our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson, is here with us. And Ann, how did we learn all of this today? Well, the information comes from a group of international scientists, Brian, and it shows that we are living climate change in real time. Growing zones in this country are moving north. This July was the warmest month on record. And tonight there is new information that reveals just how fast the world's ice sheets are melting. The numbers are staggering. Oh! 344 billion metric tons of ice melting in Antarctica and Greenland a year. The weight of more than a million Empire State Buildings. The alarming findings published today in the journal Science from a team of international researchers who looked at the data gathered over the last 20 years, creating what they say is the most accurate picture of melting. In Antarctica, the east region is gaining ice, but it's not enough to make up for the loss on the rest of the continent. In Greenland, a record 97% of the ice sheet thawed this July, as shown here in red. Today, it is losing ice five times faster than in the early 1990s. The faster speeds that we're seeing uh, in Greenland are not going to slow down. That's not the way uh, ice sheets behave. The melting accounts for 20% of sea level rise in the past two decades, according to the study, adding 11 millimeters. It doesn't sound like much until you consider it's like pouring in more than 26 Lake Tahoes. Antarctica and Greenland are the vastest reservoirs of ice on the planet. All told, they hold hundreds of feet of sea level rise. And that's the worry. Many of the world's cities are in the crosshairs. Most of the people around the world live in coastal areas. It's where most of your major cities are because that's where ports are. And they are at sea level. So even small changes in sea level rise can displace millions of people. Look at what could happen to cities on the East Coast. This could be the impact of five feet of sea level rise. This is 25 feet, which some experts say could happen in just a few centuries. Today, New Jersey and New York are still recovering from the punishing effect of Sandy, a storm fueled by higher seas. In Greenland, photographer Jim Baylog used time-lapse cameras to record the melting five years ago. I want to show people the reality of what's happening. You know, what he found here so and around the world is now the subject of the documentary bottomless. Chasing Ice. Oh, my God. The net effect is that more ice is going into the ocean as it's speeding up. Confirmed by the results of today's study. Now, another report this week says sea level rise is happening 60 percent faster than the United Nations predicted in 2007. This is all critical information because more than half of all Americans live within 50 miles of the coastline. Brian? What a bracing bunch of numbers today. Ann Thompson leading us off tonight. Ann, thanks.